What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be opening something a little bit more unique. It's a Ravnica Allegiance themed booster box. So there's 10 packs in here. Uh, each one contains 35 cards and they're, uh, um, they're, they're unique in the sense that they have like some pretty unique packaging that I really like. Uh, I don't think you can get foils in these, which is sort of a bummer. Um, it just sort of is what it is. Uh, it's like a chance at maybe getting more than one rare in a pack, and I'm not sure how this box opens. It's just pretty funny. Um, <laughs> it just really, I think this is supposed to be the display that opens up like this, and then this is the side stuff. Anyway, you get, uh, let's see if we get one of each. There's a uh, theme, Simic theme boosters, so you get green and blue. Gruul, Rakdos, Orzhov, Zorius, Orzhov, Rakdos, Gruul, and they, all right, cool. So they gave us the uh, the correct amounts, too, of each guild for this particular uh, set. So I'll put these to the side and try to organize them a bit here. Ooh, all right. So... I did not do a good job of this. It's okay. And we'll swap these out. <clears throat> Basically, what we're looking at here, we're going to get into opening them. Uh, so, yeah, I like these because I've only opened a few of them. They're typically like $8 in stores, but I did get the whole box for $50 on Amazon. So it seemed worth it. I mean, uh, the rare slot alone with a, your a, a, you know, chance to get... The uh, the lands is pretty good. I mean, it's a good chance of making your money back. Either either way, it's still really cool. So there's this cool little slip case. I mean, there's literally no other use for this thing. I just think that's really funny. Um, there's a security tag, but it's such an interesting design. It's something they, they spent time to make it. They spend the production to put it in there. It's an interesting decision because then the package is just in plastic. It's not like this holds it in place anywhere. It still fits inside the the booster just fine. I think it's also really funny that uh, the collector's editions don't even have, like the collector's editions for Throne of Eldraine don't even have such a nice packaging. <laughs> just one of those goofy things. Uh, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Uh, the quality of these cards in particular is really good. Um, uh, it's just where they're printed. It's just they're really good quality. They're smoother. They're cut a little crisper typically. This is not the best example. But yeah, they... Uh, they don't really have a smell either. They just kind of feel nice and smooth and uh, of a thicker quality than like a regular standard booster pack might have. So I'm gonna pull any, out anything just I think that's worth pulling um, uh, for in terms of commons. There's a lot of uncommons that are worth a few bucks in this set, particularly Light Up the Stage and um, Cavalcade. So if I see those, I'll pull them aside for sure. Looks like there's some uh, printer roller wear Hmm. Oh, there's Cavalcade. Yeah, of course, it's got the little bit of damage right here that you can see. So that's a dollar card, I think. And our rare is Bedevil. So not terrible. There's a Play Allegiance promo in the back there. So Bedevil's pretty good, Cavalcade. I mean, that's uh, not, it's like a dollar, maybe 80 cents. I think it's dollar fifty, $1. fifty. So maybe three bucks back here. I don't think there's anything else in the comments section worth pulling out, but. Um, I'll go through each one of these and break it right down the line. So it's at a five dollar price point per pack. It's not that difficult with the with the current uh, value of things to turn a profit on these. So I, I just saw the opportunity, and wanted to take it. Fifty bucks, ten packs, not bad considering you also get a chance at all these valuable uncommons. And there's just so many cards that are playable. I'll go through quickly here. Persistent protection is 80 cents, 75 cents, however you look at it. Uh, Dovin's Acuity, just a cool card. High Alert, another cool card. Let's fix some new prov. And our rare is Deputy of Detention. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's like a four or five dollar card. I think we we'll make our money back on these two cards alone, which is pretty cool. So hoping to just to kind of average out, maybe get some packs with two rares. I believe the rares are in a bonus land slot. I've seen them pulled before on uh, some, I've just watched Bad Boy Gaming Channel. I, there's not many of these types of pack openings on YouTube, so it's sort of filling a, a bit of a, a niche here. And um, yeah, just kind of go through another petitioner. 
these are all pretty good playables. Not, not everything, but that beginning. Uh, Terramander is playable, is good. Curse Spirals played. Drilled Mystic, that's a good playable in common. Gateway Sneak and uh, Prime Speaker Vanifar for a Mythic. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not really worth anything. Maybe a dollar, but four cards that maybe brought us back up close to, uh, you know, close to the pack value, which isn't bad. Again, when you're paying five bucks, pretty good deal. Normal pack is three to four, unless you're buying in bulk. If you're buying by the box, and of course you're paying two dollars a pack, two twelve if you're buying them for 80, 80 bucks each. So, Gateway Colossus, cool card. Try and adjust the lighting here so it's a bit better. All right, nothing crazy in here. Wilderness Reclamation, $1.50 or so. Trees in here. Rhythm of the Wild, worth pulling. And a Rampage of the Clans. Not really a big hit there. So we'll move on to White Black. Uh, it'd be pretty funny. I've seen a lot of the same stuff pulled uh, from these. Like It seems to be like a more, it almost feels like a more limited pool of cards that they choose to pull from. If you can... You're more likely to get, and this is just me speculating, you're more likely to get a rare that is two colors to match the guild theme, maybe. So we want here Mortify. Mortify is probably the best white black. There we go. Not worth anything, but it's just a good playable card. Bell Haunt. Angel of Grace. Oh, another mythic. Not bad. Uh, not worth anything. But, yeah, all right, we'll go back from the top again. So much paper, but so much fun. <clears throat> okay, again, in commons, we're looking for uh, Light Up the Stage, Gates of Blaze. They don't have many of those. Light Up the Stage, there's a nice $3, $3 bill. A couple more of those would be sweet. I bet the rare in this pack will be the Butcher. And Pestilent Spirit. Okay, so that's a that's a miss. Really, the money came from the light up the stage in that pack. Right, so Deputy Attention is our best rare right now. No double rare packs. It's disappointing, but still, the, uh, the uncommon slot is really where it's at, because you can get nine uncommons per pack, or I think maybe ten, but nine has been pretty common in my experience, which is good, because then you went, uh, like, the uncommons are just better in almost every way. Not a lot of hard-hitting commons in this set. All right, Dove and the Kill is the best uncommon. Well, nice mining. Lavinia Zorius Renegade. I don't think that's even worth a buck. So yeah, the, also the sort of the crappy thing, even though you get the chance at the double rare, you do not get foils. Or at least I've never seen foils pulled from these. Persistent peti Petitioners again. All right. Uh, Terramander. Another filled mystic. Another filled mystic. Nice. And a plaza of harmony. Oh, okay. So only one rare. I've seen this pulled with a double rare before. Uh, yeah, so I guess the land slot isn't reserved just as the bonus rare spot. It's disappointing. Yeah, I don't know if you can get the dual lands in these packs now that I'm looking at them. It would be great if the, you know, the opportunity was better, considering that you literally need dual colored lands to play the guild beans. It gives you plenty of tap lands. Another Gates of Blaze. Another Cavalcade, nice. Another Rhythm, cool. Burning Tree and Cinder Vines. Whoa, again, not a heavy hitting. Rare, really, 
just increasing your chances to get good uncommons with these packs is what I'm realizing. Which is still cool, because there's a lot of good uncommons. A lot of staples. But then, you know, you can see a lot of this junk. Deputy Detention. Better, uh, better than anything else so far. Last pack. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of this content. I'm trying to find fun things to open that are a little bit more unique than just a standard box opening. So, uh, you know, let me know if you guys have any opinions in the comments. Last rare is Lumbering Battlements. That was pretty terrible. Overall, i got to add up all the uncommons. I don't think there's a lot of value. Ten packs, two mythics, um, no double rare packs. Disappointing. And, uh, of course, no foils. But I think there might be some value in these uncommons. i got to look at it. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, hit, that hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Thanks.